pelted with falling acorns, as you could probably hear. It's getting a little steeper and a little rockier. Yeah, taking a short break here at 1045. All trail says I'm about seven tenths of a mile in on the Gunstock Mountain Trail. And I've uh, climbed about 721 feet of elevation. Still have some, clearly I still have some elevation to go. It's, uh, the sun's warm, filtering through the trees. You can't really see, probably, on the video, but uh, there's a hazy ridgeline view. Looks like we're hitting a trail march. Winter shortcut, no? I don't think I'm gonna take the winter shortcut. Okay, here we go with a steeper grade. Probably the steepest, oh yeah, definitely the steepest I've encountered so far. Ah, we come to an overlook. Nice. Let's see how, how good it is. Wow, very nice, very nice. Yeah, let's head up this way and see if I can get, oh wow, very nice. Nice view, very nice. Oh, there's this interesting part of the trail here as we Get closer to the summit. Wow. Here's where the shortcut trail merges with the uh, Unstock Ridge Trail. Hey, a picnic table. Oh, nice, huh? Beautiful. What a great view. When the trail markers combine to be white and orange, and you create an arrow, this is how you do it. I love it. Oh, now it's three trails in one. Wow. Stairs. I'll take the stairs. Okay. So for those of you not familiar with Gunstock Mountain, Gunstock Mountain is a ski area. So here we have a lift. Some trails. Ski trails. this view. Holy cow. That's amazing. That's just amazing. Oh, I'm on the brook trail and we're going to head over to Belmont. Wow, you got to love coming across picnic tables on the trails, even if they are a little ragged looking. You can sit and relax for a minute or two. Put your pack up. This is still the uh, Brook Trail. <laughs> Maybe the tenth or so in from the junction with the Gunstock Bridge Trail. And, uh, I think we're going to be uh, heading down a bit. 
and then back up to Belknap, which is a little higher than that stack, I believe. Awesome, another picnic table. Wow, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, another picnic table. Oh my god, I love it. We're going to the Belmont Summit, so we are going to continue on the Saddle Trail. Okay, here we go. And the markings are going to be... Not sure. White. So we reached something called Graham Junction, and it looks like we need to go on the blue trail now to get to Mount Bell Map. And we will do that. It's a half a mile from here. That shouldn't be too bad. Off we go. Still on the blue trail, as you can see from the blaze. Almost at the peak of Belknap Mountain. One thing you notice here is a lot more leaves on the ground than from below, from down below, from there to down below. The track is leveled off a bit, about a tenth away from the peak at this point. A lot of leaves on the ground compared to the earlier parts of the trails. Oh, fire tower. Okay. I have to go up the fire tower. Huh? trail because <clears throat> we want to take the old piper trail and then ultimately we want to hit the upper carriage road to go to our vehicle still on the white trail here a lot of ledge a recent couple of tents dry too in general makes it easy and we're still uh, descending a bit as well probably got about oh let's say about a mile now to go before we merge with the old piper trail that looks like we're gonna get a little view here I gotta love it wow beautiful just beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's give the camera a chance to focus on the greenery.
Yeah, we're gonna take the Piper Mountain Trail to the Lower Carriage Road Parking. Oh, okay. Now that I'm on the lower section of the uh, Piper Trail. Uh, the markings, uh, the trail blaze is getting a little bit more scarce and uh, while a trail like this is pretty easy to figure out which way it goes, but uh, just back there a little bit, it was pretty confusing uh, with all the leaves down and, and sticks and things on the trails, it could have gone a couple different ways I guessed right, apparently because I see a blaze here but um, I could have chosen easily chosen the wrong way I am using all uh, trails to keep me on trail. Uh, it does send me a notification when I'm far enough off one, but I think they could probably do a little better job of marking these this year. So here's a good example of uh, which way to, which way should I go? Should I go this way or this way or this way? Well, it looks like this is the way it's because there's a trail farther down. A few tents from the uh, road that leads to a little parking area. Almost done. That's an easy walk from here.